this dog. Hi, my love. What? Don't look at me like that. Alrighty, so I've already done some experiments when it comes to using the angle grinder, using the drill, and using the regular buffer on the boat already. And I am not even close to be able to even use these at all on the boat yet because there is there's nothing on the boat to buff. So what I've been doing, uh, I did do a little test area with like about five coats so far. And I did use this. You are able to use this in uh, certain areas of uh, whatever surface you're buffing. But it has to be a flat uh, area with no curves. The surface is actually dry. It is absorbing. As you can see, I'm using... a. I'm using multiple products right now to you know to do testing and the boat is completely absorbing all of them so far up to a certain amount of coats. So when it comes to even thinking about buffing, I can't I can't even use this. This won't do anything because there's nothing to buff. So I I'm going to have to put about 4 to 5 coats on the boat just to get started. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's that bad. But we are going to go out there and I'm going to show you the area that my the little test area I did yesterday just, just to see what it would take to be able to do this. So let's look at that really quick. So what I did is I uh, did five coats from here up to about right here. As you can see, it's shiny, it's smooth, and it's, uh, and it's good. I did about one coat from here to here. As it's still it's still a little dull. It has some shine to it, but it's not like it's not like here. This is this is really glossy and smooth. And then if we go down here, as you can see, there is a di I did some experiments. There is a couple of different shades. Too bad of the shadow right now. Uh, it's a, I'm not see it's still got a dull spot right here. Let's see if I can get it on my camera But like here there's a dull spot, you know, it, it it's gonna take a lot more coats to uh, To get this boat Good, but let's see if I could But yeah, you see it's it that this area is not even nearly as shiny as that area that line right there, so we're gonna work on that to uh, see what happens. But the reason why you guys are all watching this video is to see the angle grinder as a buffing tool. And we're gonna do that right now. So what I am doing is I am using the 1.5 uh, amp hour battery with this so it uh, doesn't give out as much power as like a four amp hour battery would at once. So, uh, but I'm going to just uh, show you, I am using, uh, I do not know what it's called, I am using this attachment, uh, and this attachment actually uh, creates a vortex and sucks it to the surface, but it works really well, and it does not destroy or create swirls all over the place. So, let's get to it.
it does work. Now, when it comes to using the angle grinder, I am not going to use it on this section because the the high marks will will scuff up. Uh, so you actually need a smaller bit for this because of that uh, four inch is actually too big to work on this right here for this for this uh, even if that was uh, even for a drill it's uh, for when it comes to buffing uh, that's too that's the the drill is too powerful for the hot for the high spots like that so because this edge will scuff up this needs to be done with a smaller attachment or by hand or something extremely less powerful but it does work look at that that is so much better but it needs like probably three more coats for it to be for it to be what I want it to be but what I do do is I use the the red attachment for the drill to, to uh, sort of buff the the wax on At, at the low setting. That's buffed in. I'm gonna have to let that dry and then just flat out hit it with another coat of wax without even uh, buffing it out because there's, there's no point because that's not gonna it, it doesn't buff out there's not enough material for it to actually polish meanwhile while that's drying I'm gonna do some mow some grass so yeah uh, there's two coats of uh, Boat wax, uh, wax cleaner on here, so we're just gonna quickly buff it with this, just very quickly, just to get the chalk off. Then we're gonna give it another coat of uh, a coat of rubbing compound. camera I hope you can uh, there's all these swirls here which that's just the the wax just absorbing into the body I hope you can see that on camera sorry if you can't but it, it does have a bit of a sheen to it but it's it's absorbing everything like right here it's if you look straight at it it's flat but if you look at it at an angle it's sort of shiny so next we're going to put rubbing compound on. So far, you can see there's a difference between the bottom and the top, uh, but this needs probably like about three coats of wax. So, so the three coats are uh, are on it already. Two coats of cleaner wax, one coat of rubbing compound, and then the next is probably two to three coats of wax. Then I could uh, polish it with the angle grinder.
All right, so I'm gonna let that fully dry, uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna do part of the lawn. What is the battery on this? Full battery still, wow. I had a three amp hour battery that it's still full. All right, so once again, we're gonna do a quick buffing with this. Let's change that out. Alrighty, so I don't have, I can't find a different six inch pad for that buffer. So we're just gonna use this. See what happens. I might not even be ready for it. But as you can see, it's looking better when compared to the bottom. What a difference. This is, a, this is how the top used to look, but it's looking much, much better. I'm going to let that coat dry, uh, and then I'm going to continue mowing the grass. See, now... I think we're ready to, to polish. It works. It shines uh, without scuffing or, or or scratching. But this automatically will rule as a no go for using it as a buffer because the battery will hit the surface and create scratches that way. Because as you can see, to get that flat, the battery is against the surface. Now, if you drag that along your uh, finished surface. Guess what? You're going to get scratches. See that? I saw it. That right there. Yeah, I'm not going to use this because I am going to end up burning something because I have to put it at an angle because of the battery. So this is no good. I'm, I am not going to use this. You can't tell anything with the position, but what you could tell is the difference here. Maybe it is a lot shinier, but <coughs> unfortunately we can't use the angle grinder for a polisher, but unfortunately because of the position of the battery, you can't use this to polish because you will scratch the surface of the of the surface you want to polish because the battery will naturally just grind along it while you're trying to keep this level but it does work though it did not uh mess up the the hull by using it uh 
it, will I test this on a car? No, because that battery will scratch my surface. Because as you can see here, there is a big clearance between the battery and the tip of the of the of the padding. So this I would use on a car, but this no. But uh, but yeah, the hull does look a lot shinier and cleaner than it did uh, yesterday. Uh, even the other side, the other side is filthy. So to I have to get ready for work soon. So tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detail the other side. And probably take the boat out. So that's pretty much it. Uh, th that settles the answer. Excuse me. Can you use this as a, a, a polisher? No. And that's only because of the battery. Did it work as a polisher? Yes. In a certain situation, because of the battery, it does. But if that battery needs to, if you need to angle, uh, put this to where the battery needs to touch the surface, that is a no go. So unfortunately, I can't use that as a polisher. So that's pretty much it. The buffer, the six inch buffer does a good job. I need to get a, a few more pads. I'll pick that up tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, this does a fantastic job putting the car wax on and rubbing it in. This does a fan really good job with that. So this kit, just by being able to do that alone, makes this $11 kit worth it. I mean that's that's so much easier and it just doesn't go into the surface this grinds it into the pores of the of the boat and then it creates a better seal for the next coat which is a uh, which is awesome but that's pretty much uh, it for this episode uh, today is a successful day and this is David Nicholas thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>